Chromatic Fanatic, Eric here, along with Jack Speck there. Um, it's my Friday, technically, from school, uh, and we're going to go try out a new campground. Well, we're going to Black Lake. There's two campgrounds out of Black Lake. There's Columbus Park and Salmon Shores RV Park. Obviously, I'm going to go to Columbus Park first and see what they got. And... Uh, spend a few days out here. This will be really nice. So if my map is right, we're actually going to go past Salmon Shores first, but I'm going to go a little farther to go check out Columbus Park. So I wanted to kind of clear up one thing that I've been getting a lot of new subscribers and people commenting on is how many states I travel to and how how many different locations and blah 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 and I just wanted to reiterate although I know most of you guys already know this um, I I only travel about five miles a day to a new location I don't travel 600 to a thousand miles a day all across the country um, I'm nomadic in that I always move that is the uh, definition of nomadic can't stay in one spot at one time I move at least every 24 hours um, so and like a lot of people are like, well, that's, you know, false advertising, Eric. You've never even left to Washington State. How are you nomadic? And again, uh, I never said that I leave the state. Um, I do this on a budget that I can afford because I don't have a bottomless bank account. Um, so this is what I do. I'm still considered nomadic because I move around. It's not like I'm being false to people and I never told you guys that I leave the state and go across the country every other week. Um, I'd like to get out farther when campus is over, obviously, but... Oh, there's a lake. That's Black Lake. <laughs> this is probably, like, the nicest weekend it is. This is the nicest weekend of the year so far here in Washington State. Oh, I'm liking what I see. Okay, this is promising. Hells yeah, I want to be out there right now. Wow, isn't that cool? Isn't that awesome? So far this is very RV park looking. All right, so really good news. All that stuff that we saw when we first came in, those are the, the monthly people that stay here all the time. Um, the campground is over here. And out of, I think she said like 18 spots, there's only one tent camper back in a back corner over there. So this is gonna be pretty cool. Hey buddy. All right, we're here, we're parked. Let's have a look around here. Here's my... Uh, Electrical plug-in right here. Go over here. Oh, that's cool. Very nice. Old fire pit. Picnic table. I like it. Alrighty, well I'm all settled in, got some firewood to make a fire. Uh, I'm definitely going to be here alone tonight, probably. Um, but I do have some visitors stopping by for Friday night to spend the night. Uh, so yeah, but <clears throat> on my bike, so I still need to get the uh, GoPro handlebar attachment. But I'm going to show you the rest of the campground down here, that's kind of cool. Nice little... so funny because I'm always itching to go camping like the first nice days of the season and usually no matter where I'm at I'm always going to be the first one out here and the only one out here even on really nice weekends um, 
when I get to those places like out the, the free ones for the Capitol Forest and stuff like that, I'm always the first one out there in May. And it's only like 62 degrees, so I don't think I'll be jumping in the water this weekend, but I'll consider it. I might. It's a really nice park though.